Hi, I'm Mario Batali. Welcome to Italy, a food lover's paradise. Today we're cooking for Bob from Boston. First ingredient, duck. I've chosen duck breast, magre. Next up, lentils. I like the tiny ones from Umbria. Next up, bacon. There are many options for bacon. What's your favorite? I like the double smoked. Double smoked, please, about a half a pound. Porcine delight, thank you. <laughs> Last ingredients, dates. Almost like candy, they're so good. Let's get to the kitchen. Back in the kitchen, I'm cooking for Bob from Boston, Massachusetts. Today we're using duck, bacon, lentils, and dates. So I start with the lentils. I like the little brown ones. Umbrian or Castelluccio are the ones that I like the most. I'll put a cup in a pot. I'm gonna add some delicious aromatics, onions, carrots, and celery. I'm going to add water to cover by about two inches with a nice pinch of salt. And I'm gonna put the bacon in right here and now. So I cut that into lardones or little pieces about a quarter of an inch across. And I'm gonna cook it in with the water so it's gonna leave us some succulent, bacony fat all the way through, as well as those pieces of bacon when they're done. So we're gonna bring them up to the boil, we're gonna drop them down to a simmer, we're gonna cook them until they're just al dente, and then we'll worry about it from there. Now here is the magret. This is a duck breast with the fat on it, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make scallopini out of it. So I'm gonna carve straight across like so, maybe a half inch thick. Each person will either eat two or three of these, depending on how hungry they are. So I'll start with those like that. Take your trusty little meat mallet and gently, you don't want to pound this too hard and I always use the side with the little rivets on it. And you want to probably get it down to about an eighth of an inch so it ends up looking like that. That's a perfect duck scallopini. And then I season both sides with just salt. A lot of people will ask when they see me season things with the bright lights of a TV camera, and it looks like it's a lot of salt. That was probably all in about a half a teaspoon. So I'm gonna put it in here, and then I'm going to pepper it on both sides, and then dredge it. Now this is just all-purpose flour. It's just creating a nice little piece of crust on the outside to kind of protect the meat a little bit. Lentils here have cooked 20 minutes, and they're completely just about cooked through so what I'm gonna do with them is I'm gonna drain them now. I'm gonna save some of that cooking liquid, put them back in the pan, and effectively make almost like a vinaigrette. I'm gonna take a little bit of Dijon mustard, a tablespoon. I'm gonna put it in with the lentil cooking liquid, and I'm gonna add a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. So it's not really a vinaigrette, it's more like a waterette, because I'm using that cooking liquid and what it does, along with that mustard, is creates a beautiful dressing that I want in these lentils. Whenever you use raw poultry, you change your board. So now this is gonna go quickly, so pay attention. We've got our pan that's pretty hot. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, and I'm gonna put my duck in and allow it to start to cook. Now that fat will crisp up a bit, almost like a barely cooked through bacon. We like that. Now the dates, we pull the pit out, and I'm gonna chop two up, and then I'm gonna save some other halves for garnish. And this is gonna give that sweet, datey richness throughout the sauce. So now I'm cooking my duck, I'm cooking my duck. Never turn this over too quickly. I'd rather you cook it 95% on the first side to develop a little crust, and then just flip it over for that last second of finish. And that goes the same with fish or just about anything else you're ever cooking. You wanna develop a little crust on that presentation side, so let it happen. I'm gonna put in the dates now, those pieces that I cut up into small pieces. And I'm gonna keep moving them around. All right, so the duck has started to really pick up some deliciousness to it. That's when I flip it over like that. I cooked it almost all the way through on that first side, so at this point it's already ready to eat. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain a little bit of the fat out of the pan. I splash enough wine to come up to along the lower third of the meat. 
I'm gonna add the veal glass. You could use a poultry glass if you wanted. I'm gonna throw in my two hero dates and allow them to simmer here. Then I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of butter. And you'll watch as this reduces, it swirls and becomes a sauce in a way that it needs to become. Now to finish the dish, I'm going to chop up some chives and some parsley. So I'm gonna cut some pieces long and some pieces short. You take a nice pile of these delicious lentils. I'll take my beautiful pieces of duck scallopini. Then I take my hero date, pile him on top. And then I'm gonna add some parsley chiffonade, some chives, and we're just going to gently put a little sauce on top. And then what I like to do at the last second is take a little extra virgin olive oil, splash it in to almost make it like a broken vinaigrette, and I spoon that around the sides. Then I take my little chives like I did, my brancusi moment. Duck scallopini with a moscato sauce served over magnificent lentils for Bob from Boston, duck, bacon, lentils, and dates.